everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the Netflix original movie, Set It Up. Set It Up stars Zoe Dutch, Glenn Powell, Tay Diggs, Lucy Liu, and Pete Davidson. And the movie is about Harper and Charlie, these two young assistants who are sick and tired of being treated poorly by their bosses. So the two of them come up with a plan to set their bosses up so that way they can do whatever they want in their free time while both of their bosses are hanging out. Set It Up is a movie that just came out of nowhere for me. I had no idea about this movie until word of mouth came up and just by seeing the cast alone, it made me want to check it out on Netflix. Netflix hasn't had the greatest track record as most of their movies this year have been either eh or terrible. And then you have, in my opinion, the worst movie they've ever made. Despite that, I do always like to keep an open mind about things and not automatically think that everything they've done is not good because they have had a couple of surprisingly pretty good movies this year. And I'm happy to say that I can add Set It Up in the actually solid Netflix original movies category. It honestly feels so good to not only call this a memorable Netflix movie, but a memorable and charming rom-com too. Because I feel like there hasn't been a lot of good rom-coms as of late, which is a shame because I do enjoy the rom-com genre when it's done right. I do believe what adds to the charm of this movie is Zoe Dutch and Glenn Powell, who have great chemistry with each other. These two are really adorable on screen together, and even though you know where their story is going to end, because you do have some of that expected predictability for a movie like this, which doesn't particularly bother me because the two of them were just that good together. I thought the setup of the film, no pun intended, I promise, was really well done. When the movie cuts back and forth to Tay Diggs treating Glenn Powell very poorly and Lucy Liu treating Zoe Dutch very poorly, I found it very interesting, despite the humor not really landing. I'll say that right now, that the humor in the first 20 to 25 minutes was really weak and it did take me out of the movie at times, but because I found that part of the setup with the boss is very interesting, I was still able to get behind the story. After the first 20 or 25 minutes of the movie, however, the humor was a lot better and I was surprised with how much the movie really made me laugh. One of the scenes that made me laugh out loud was this elevator scene. It is very over the top and I could see it turning off some people, but I couldn't help but laugh out loud at that scene. And Titus Burgess from Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt a show I really enjoy, I'm a big fan of that show, was really funny in that scene, as well as the scene that he has during the end credits. Some of the humor doesn't work, of course, and I feel that's a common flaw you'll hear me say, or really most reviewers say when they review a comedy, but I do think when the humor hits, which is a lot of it to be frank, it hits pretty hard in my opinion. I thought the script was very well written and I felt the dialogue between our characters both comedically and dramatically were very compelling. Writer Carrie Silberman not only did a splendid job of making us the audience fully understand why Harper and Charlie are driven to make their bosses fall in love to get rid of them for a while, but the scenes when it's just their bosses are actually written well. Similar to Harper and Charlie who have wonderful personalities, the bosses even have personalities. The bosses may not be the best people, but they're actually entertaining and when you really think about it, it could have suffered from having boring bosses that don't stand out at all. But both of the bosses actually do stand out here, especially Tay Diggs, who made me laugh quite a bit. Both Tay Diggs and Lucy Liu were very good in their roles. The direction is very good here too, and it's directed by Claire Scanlon, who was known for directing episodes for television shows like Glow, 
Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Blackish, many more. And I found out that she's even edited some episodes of The Office, which is pretty neat. It's her first time getting her hands on a movie, and I felt she did a very nice job. I was very impressed with her camera work, and I thought the cinematography looked beautiful too. It's more colorful than you would expect for a rom-com, and it's definitely some of the better cinematography I've seen in a rom-com in recent memory. Someone else I have to mention is Pete Davidson as Charlie's gay friend, and I thought he was very funny. I can see this character possibly unknowing some people, but he really didn't bother me. I found him to be just as likable as Zoe Dutch and Glenn Powell. And while he obviously doesn't share the same amount of screen time as those two, he was still very entertaining. I've already pointed out a couple of my issues with this film, but if I had to point out other problems I've had with the film, I would say that the music unfortunately wasn't impressive and it gave it a little too much of that Hallmark feeling at points, not all the time, but I do feel at points it does. It just felt like they couldn't get an actual music composer to do the score, so they just grabbed random stock music and used it for the movie. It also has that cliche where two characters have conflicts in the third act and it gets dramatic for a while and then eventually gets better. It's a cliche that does annoy me in a lot of movies and it did annoy me in this movie too. Overall, Set It Up is a very adorable and very funny rom-com. Netflix finally has a rom-com that I fully enjoy, and I'm very happy it's this movie. Our lead characters, Harper and Charlie, have great chemistry, as well as just great comedic timing with each other. Lucy Liu and Tay Diggs looked like they were having an absolute blast playing the bosses, and they really did a truly impressive job making them memorable. It does have its predictability and cliches you typically see in a rom-com, but it doesn't take away from my enjoyment because of how well written it was with its dialogue, characters, humor, and even the motivations of our lead characters. It's one of the biggest surprises of the summer and of the year because I literally had no idea about it before some reviews came up, but then I watched it and I'm glad I did. Netflix has been letting me down a lot as of late. But once in a while, they do have a good movie in their hands, and I'm happy to say this is one of them. I'm going to give Set It Up 3 out of 4 stars. So everybody, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Set It Up and what is your favorite romance movie of this decade. I figured I'd just randomly ask you guys that. Mine would personally have to be her. Words can't describe how much I adore that movie. Thank you as always for watching everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Yo!